Good morning. God bless you. Hello, Michael in Tampa. Good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. Geraldine, good morning. Kentucky in the house. I'll be there later this month, Kentucky, Baltimore. I'll be there in September, Baltimore, New Zealand. Well, Chris, I don't know when I'll be back there. Praise God. Today's broadcast sponsored by SupernaturalCoach.com. Christian Life Coaching. SupernaturalCoach.com. Check that out. Good morning, New Jersey. Good morning, Virginia. Pam Baker. Mountain Moving Monday. I like it. Come on, let's press in. 3 a.m. California. I'll be with you twice this year, I believe. Brashakatarabashte. New Jersey. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Let's get it cranked up. It's Monday. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Your rite of passage is here. I heard the Lord say, rites of passage. We're going to pray into that. Surfside, Florida, you need to come to the Awakening House of Prayer in Dania Beach. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Share, invite, let's get this cranked up. Wake up, people. Good morning, Anthony. Here we go. Share, invite, get it cranked up. We're starting in 30 seconds. Today's broadcast sponsored by SupernaturalCoach.com. You need help, you need advice, you need counsel. SupernaturalCoach.com. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, Sweden, San Antonio, Connecticut Blaze. It's my birthday month. That means you all must be nicer to me. Hashtag nicer. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. I'm the senior leader at the Awakening House of Prayer, the epicenter for equipping, healing, deliverance, and more in South Florida, 
and the founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network. Amen. Today's devotion titled, Receive and Walk in My Love. <laughs> that's a mouthful right there. And that's a life's quest right there. Here's what I heard the Lord say. You are worth everything to me. You are my favorite. <laughs> my love for you is so much greater than you know. I want to teach you how to receive my love in greater measure, says God. I want to shed my love abroad in your heart more and more. Love for you motivates me. I want love for me to motivate you in all that you do, says God. I'm in this for love. I want you to be in this for love with me. When you begin to look at people and situations through the eyes of love, then you'll see them the way I do. Wisdom and compassion and even miracles will flow. Receive my love now and pour it out on others. The world needs my love, says the Spirit of the living God. Today's scripture references Psalm 139, verses 13 through 16, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 9, and Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 34. And the prayer started from the devotional, I am overwhelmed by the knowledge of your love for me. I know you love me, yet I need a greater revelation of your love in my heart. Help me to see the world through the lens of your love so that I can walk in supernatural love for people in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you are love. You are love. You're in it for love. You're in it all the way to the end and beyond, forever and ever and ever. You are the eternal God. Your love is eternal. Your love is everlasting. Your love, it never fails. And we give you uh, love back this morning. We pour our love out upon you, God. It's not a perfect love like your love. Sometimes uh, we go astray. Sometimes uh, we don't follow you the way that we should. But Lord, we want to. We want to come up higher. We want to love you more. God, it all starts with receiving more from you. So remove those things that hinder love. Etch away at those things which cause us not to trust you deeply enough. Lord, help us get to the next layer, the next, the, the next the next level of love because your kingdom it's all about love at the end of the day did you learn to love at the end of the day it's all about love faith hope and love abide prophecy will cease all these other things these gifts of the spirit will cease but faith Hope and love will abide according to your word, Lord. We stand on that, and we're going to pursue faith. We're going to walk in faith. We're going to pursue a hope. We're going to walk in hope. We're going to pursue love. We're going to walk in love, God. We're going to give it everything we've got. We're going to pour out everything on the inside of us, knowing that you will refill us again and again and again. You will shed your love abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. There's someone listening to me, and you've feel like you're running on empty. You're just running on empty. The gas tank is empty. It's not your gas tank that's empty. It's your love tank that's empty. You need a refilling of the love of God. You need a refilling of his love because with that love comes a revelation. With that love comes his peace, his joy. With that love comes everything that he is because he is love. Oh God, fill us again with your love. Fill our tanks with your love, God. We're running on empty. We're running on fumes. We're coasting, hoping to get to the next filling station. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to get out of coast mode and back into revved up, on fire, ready to run mode. God, fill us up again with your love. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to receive. Help us, Lord, to open up the 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 uh, the, 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 the the just our hearts. Just I just see that there's just so, some of you that your hearts just aren't fully open. They're calloused. They're bruised. They're halfway shut. You're allowing a trickle of God's love in, but you're not allowing him to wash over you with all that he is because of past hurts, because of disappointments. Because of old issues that have caused you not to see him as he is. Not to trust him as you should. It's like a, a hesitation, but it's not a holy hesitation. There's a holy hesitation in which we wait upon the Lord. To discern his will, to understand his 
plan completely. But it's not a holy hesitation. It's a hellish hesitation. It keeps you from entering into what you so long to enter into. You can see it. You know there's more. But this hellish hesitation, because of the scars, because of the wounds, because of the uh, 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 half-healed sores, and I just see all kinds of uh, just infection, for lack of a better word. Some of you have been infected with distrust, infected with bitterness, infected with resentment, infected with disappointment, infected with hopelessness. There's an infection. It's not just a wound. Wounds that are kept clean can heal. Hear me now. Listen to me. I'm trying to help you. I'm speaking to you by the Lord. Wounds that are kept clean can heal. Wounds that are not kept clean get infected. Think about it. Some of you are wounded, and it's okay. You're healing. You're healing. You're healing. You're healing. You're healing. Some of you, you've gotten, you've sustained wounds, and the enemy came uh, just to rub salt in it. The enemy came to add hurt upon hurt. The enemy came uh, with thoughts of resentment and bitterness and inner vows, and there's an infection in that wound, and this is why you feel so out of sorts. This is why it hurts so bad. Wounds hurt as they heal, but they, they tighten. They, 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 the pain grows less and less. When a wound is healing, the pain, it grows less and less and less and less until the healing is complete. An affected wound, it grows worse and worse and worse and worse. And it hurts worse. And it's, you're in danger. When there's a, a deep wound that's infected, you're in danger of even losing limbs. You're in danger of, of having infection spread to other parts of your body. You're in danger. Father, in the name of Jesus, pour your healing balm of Gilead over these infected wounds, God. Root out the infection. Let your Holy Ghost antibiotic deliver us from infected wounds in Jesus' name. I've never seen it this way before. I'm speaking to you by the Holy, by the Holy Ghost. I've never seen it this way before. It's so clear. We like to say, well, they're just wounded. No, no, no. It's not that they're just wounded. You can actually survive and function with a wound as long as you are cleaning the wound hear me you can survive you can you can go to work you can you can you can even preach from a platform with a wound that's being cleansed and with a wound that's being dressed with a wound that's being tended to but not so with one that's infected some of you have wounds in your marriage and they're just they're just infected you have wounds in in relationships and, and they've become infected Perhaps one of you tried harder than the other to make it right, to make it work. Some of you, a lot of you have have church wounds. We did a whole series on that church hurt. You have church wounds and they're infected. Some of you, there were, listen, I hate to say it this way, but some of you, there were imaginary wounds. Nobody did anything to you. But because you had a wound from the past season that was infected and oozing, You imagined a new wound was inflicted upon you when it was not so. And the enemy has poured salt in a wound. And now you're making false accusations against people who did nothing to you. And you're digging yourself deeper into a hole because you reap what you sow. The enemy has you in a perfect storm. And that's why you feel trapped. That's why you feel tossed to and fro. That's why you feel uh, just out of joints, out 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 of joint. Because the infection has clouded your judgment. You ever had a sty in your eye? I have. They hurt. And if they get so big and so bad, it's, it, it actually impairs your vision. It's an infection around your eye. And it impairs your vision. Some of you have had such wounds that the, the, the infection has spread to your ears so you don't hear rightly. To your eyes so you don't see rightly. To your emotions so you don't discern rightly. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, today for your healing power. For your healing power, Lord, clean up the wounds, God. Go in deep. Clean up the wounds. Bring your antiseptic. Lord, scrape out the infection if you have to. A little pain now will be much worth it at the end. Father, heal. 
heal and make whole because there's a passage that I want to pray into, but you must receive healing before your rite of passage can be complete. You cannot take into the next season the hurts and wounds of this season. You must let go. Some of you have been torn down by Christian assassins. Go watch my video on that. It's eye opening. Have been harangued by harassing demons. Father, we ask you to do a complete work today, or at least start it, Lord. Start it with a with a mind of a complete work to be finished as we cry out to you, Lord. Heal, heal, heal. Father, we thank you. I command healing into the emotions of all those listening to me, into the bodies of all those listening to me. I command your soul to be healed. The fragments, the pieces that are broken, shattered like glass. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus to do a restoration miracle in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your healing power, for your grace, for your grace is sufficient. We love you, Lord. We love you with everything in us. We love you with all of our heart. And we know that you love us. And love heals. Love does not destroy souls. Love heals souls. What an analogy. Tony Lynn, if you can just give me the nuts and bolts of that analogy. If you don't have time to transcribe it. That, somebody needs to understand that. There's a difference between being wounded and keeping a wound clean and healing and being wounded and letting, him, letting it fester with infection. Thank you, Lord. Lord, just let you, so we're just going to spend another minute on this and then we're going to transition into the rite of passage. Just pray with me for just a moment. I need to feel the release of the Holy Spirit. He want, he want, if you'll just get the revelation that you need healing. Listen, some of you just don't even see that you need healing because you're so stoic and you're so strong and you've pressed through and I congratulate you for the pressing. But now it's time for the healing. You can keep pressing while you heal. Just get the infection out. Thank you, Lord. Give you praise and glory. We magnify your name. We thank you that you're the God that heals. You're the God that loves us too much to leave us in a compromised position in which the enemy can take advantage and harass our soul even further, bring further damage and harm in our lives. You love us too much to leave us here today, so we lift up our hearts to you, God. We lift up our hearts to you. We lift up our hearts to you. And we say, Lord, have your way. Go in deep. Help us to see the way that you see. Help us to receive everything we're to receive. Help us to reject that which we're supposed to reject. There it is. Some of you are not rejecting the old memories. You're not rejecting the old thoughts. You're not rejecting the old and receiving the new. You're dwelling on the old and thereby rejecting the new because there's not room enough for the old and the new. That old stuff it has got to go. That old pain. It's got to go so that new joy can come. I said there's a, a divine exchange this morning. God is trying to bring beauty where ashes exist. But you've got to blow the ashes. I just saw a picture of the Lord <sighs> just blowing the ashes. Don't go back and gather them up and put them in a bottle and set them on your fireplace shelf as a memorial. <sighs> the Lord is blowing the ashes away. Do not go back. Pick them up, put them in a bottle, in a vase, in an urn. Those things are dead. They're dead. Don't memorialize them. Let your healing power come, God. Thank you, Lord. Just blow the ashes away. Beauty for ashes is your portion. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. We release the ashes to you now, God. The ashes of the past. The ashes of pain. The ashes of betrayal. The ashes, God, the ashes 
of hurts and wounds, relationships gone bad, the ashes, we release them. And we will not gather them up again and memorialize them any longer. We'll encourage ourselves in the Lord. We will think upon our God. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Somebody need to go back and listen to this again. I need to share it with some of your friends that are going through this because you can see the bitterness in their heart. Now, I want to press into this rite of passage when I, about two minutes before the call, the Lord said, rites of passage. I said, what is that? Honestly, didn't know. You've heard it before, but I didn't know if it was a positive thing, a negative thing. I didn't really understand what it was. So I have to look things up. We think we know what something means. And sometimes we act on that which we think it means. And we don't have clarity on what it really means. And we make an action that is inaccurate in the spirit. We want accuracy in the spirit. Therefore, we must understand and know what the Lord is really saying. A rite of passage... is a ceremony performed to facilitate or mark a person's change of status upon high, several highly important occasions. It's any important act or event that serves to mark a passage from one stage of life to another. A rite of passage is a ceremony of the passage which occurs when an individual leaves one group to enter another. It involves a significant change of status in society. Can you see it? It's a massive transition. It's like your triumphant entry into a new season. It brings with it a higher status in the spirit, a come up higher sort of experience one stage of life to another. So Father, we thank you today for the right of passage. Now let me caveat this. This might not be for every person listening. Some of you may have just completed a rite of passage. Let this serve as confirmation to you. But I'm saying the Lord said that, so I know there's many, many, many on this call where it's time for your rite of passage. It's time. You're at the door. So, Father, I thank you for the rite of passage. I thank you, Lord, that you made a way for us out of no way. It looked bleak and it looked dim, but we're standing at the door to the rite of passage even now. I thank you, Lord, that you are a ceremonial God and you celebrate our transitions. When we were saved, the angels rejoiced. The great cloud of witnesses is cheering us on. God, I thank you. I thank you for this moment when we can pass from death death to life, past, from wounded to healed, past, from abused to recovered, past, from tolerated to celebrated, past, 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 into that new stage, into that higher level, into that elevation, into that promotion. I thank you that we can pass from one group to another. And for many of you, that's what it is. It's time to pass from one group to another. You've been with one group of friends, with one network, with one church, with one job long enough. It's time to pass. you felt the transitioning, you felt the shaking, you felt the, 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 the trembling, you have felt the transition coming and the rite of passage is before you and God is about to celebrate your transition, he's about to celebrate your promotion but you've got to be willing to leave it all comes down to willingness at this point for so many of you you're just not willing to let go we pray and we pray and we pray about these things, you got to be willing to let go leaving one group, entering another, you cannot be part of two groups at the same time somebody said to me well can I be a member of your church and a member of this other church at the same time no you can be a part of one network I suppose you can have two jobs but just certain things in life you cannot be part of two of them you cannot have one husband and marry another you can't have two whole different families you cannot be a member of one church and, and be a member of another you can go to two but you can't be members of both 
You cannot have one major career and have another major career where you're working 80 hours a week at both. It doesn't work that way. Some of you need to be ready to leave one group and enter another group. It's part of your rite of passage. But there's more for you. There's increase for you. That's why it's a celebration. That's why it's a transition. That's why there's a ceremony. You're being dubbed. You're being recommissioned. You're being ordained. You're being given a new mantle. There's a new mandate. There's a commissioning for you. I said it's time to shift. It's time to transition. Take this whosoever will. Don't take this if it doesn't belong to you. If it bears witness to you, celebrate it. The right of passage to mark your change of status. One stage of life to another. Some of you are just entering into retirement. It's a right of passage into freedom. You're going to follow now your dreams. You're done with the nine to five. You're going to follow now the dreams, the hopes of your heart. You're done with the nine to five. You're done with the 80 hour work weeks. It's a right of passage into retirement, except you're not really retiring. You're just entering into a level of freedom you've not experienced before. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Where are all my retirees? Where are all those that are about to retire? I've got a word brewing in my spirit for you. Shout out to me. Are you listening? Are you listening? Retirees and those that have recently, those that are about to listen uh, uh, to, those, are, those that are about to uh, those that are about to, to enter into retirement or just recently have I'm going to pray I feel the word brewing in come on there's a lot of you I feel the word brewing in my spirit I, I, I see that Lord pray with me for just a moment I want to be accurate I want to hear uh, I want to hear and I want to see I want to hear and I want to see so I can say I feel it I feel it I feel it Father I see that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for the retirees. I thank you, Lord, for their lives. I thank you, Lord, that they're just getting started. I thank you, Lord, for the new season. I thank you, Lord, for the rite of passage. I thank you, Lord, that you anoint them and appoint them in this season to the post that they're supposed to carry in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that a second wind comes at their back. I thank you, Lord, that you surround them with people whose lives they can pour into and people who can who they can receive from I thank you Lord that you elevate them in the spirit to the next level of their calling their gifting I thank you Lord that you redeem time even restore time even make up for time that the locust worm ate I thank you Lord in the name of Jesus and the Lord would say to you I am raising you up in this hour to stand in companies and even to stand on the wall says the Lord for I have things I want you to see in the spirit and I even want you to watch I want you to look and I want you to see and the Lord says I want you to sound the alarm and I want you to gather intercessors round and about you who are serious about my business in this hour says the Lord for you have earned my trust by way of your walk and you have earned my trust by the way of your prayer and you have earned my trust by the way of your selflessness and you're willing to pour out your willingness to pour out so uh, the, the Lord is just saying rise up and gather he says I'm pouring out a gather anointing upon you to even see your city change through prayer to even see your families and churches and and those round about you who have struggled the Lord says I'm giving some of you unique ministries some of you will go into the prisons and the jail some of you will go into the hospitals and the nursing homes some of you will go into uh, uh, orphanages and and places other places where they teach children who have disabilities as the Lord says I am putting feet to your prayer so I'm asking you to pray but I'm asking you to move I'm asking you to shift and I'm asking you to think outside the box says the Lord for I will band you together and you will be a powerhouse force in my spirit and the Lord would say it's not about gathering all those who are your same age the Lord says no gather different age groups to gather young and old because you have something to deposit the Lord says I want you to make a deposit I want you to make a deposit that will bear much interest in the next generation I want you to teach them how to watch and how to pray. And the Lord keeps showing me uh, people uh, 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 of stature, people uh, uh, of, 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 uh, uh, of, of greater uh, eldership in the spirit, standing on the wall and watching, 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 watching. The Lord's going to give you certain ministries to watch over. 
There are seers among you who are going to rise up as seer guards over ministries. And the, those ministries may or may not ever know that you've been stationed there, but you're going to be faithful. I'm talking to the retirees now. If this is you, I want you to contact me. I, I, I want to help facilitate this, this company of, of, I don't know what we're going to call it, but I, I, I'm telling you there's some power in this. You want to be part of a company of of retiree. It's not. It's not. A, it's not that. It's not about. How do I say this? It, 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 it's 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 about a rite of passage. It's about a new authority. Do you understand me? It's about that you, you, you've earned trust. You've gained the trust of the Lord. You've been faithful. And there's a new authority coming on you. I'm telling you, there's something powerful here. I wish I could fully articulate what I'm seeing. Email me, info at jenniferleclair.org, please. We need your wisdom. I need your wisdom. Please email me if this is you. Retiree, just about to retire. Info at jenniferleclair.org. Yes, it's a recall to duty. That's what it is. Some of you have been dormant. Some of you have just been stagnant. Some of you have just been waiting for the next opportunity and didn't see it coming. I'm telling you, this is it. You're going to pour your life out as a drink offering. You're going, to, you're going to stand on the wall and you're going to watch. You're going to see some of you, the Lord, as you step into this, is going to activate seer and prophetic giftings in you that you didn't know you were there because nobody ever put a demand on it. Nobody ever said, I need you. I trust you. I want you on this post. Nobody ever gave you the liberty. Nobody ever liberated you to move into your spiritual occupation. Religion kept you bound. I'm telling you, there's something on this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we're going to do something. I just need enough of you to join forces. I just need enough of you to pour into. I just need enough of you to stand with me. Retirees, hear me. I just need enough of you. We can do something here. We can, we can revolutionize some things. Come on. Info at jenniferleclair.org. Come on. There's something more for you. There's something greater for, me, for you. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. I love these spontaneous revelations and words of the Lord that set captives free from religion. That's what most of you, if you felt bound, it's religion ha having bound you, having kept you down, having pressed you down. Father, we thank you for the retirees. We thank you, Lord, that we're going to raise up an army of watchmen, intercessors, and seers, prophetic sentinels. That can raise up others. I break that religious spirit that binds you. I break it in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, that we are free. And who the sun sets free is free indeed. I said who the sun sets free is free indeed. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. He's free indeed. He's free indeed. She's free indeed. You're free indeed. I thank you, Lord, for liberation today in the name of Jesus. Prophet Deb, you're probably the one to help me lead this. You're probably the one to help me lead this. Come on, info at Jennifer LeClaire. I want to hear from you. Prophet Deb, if you'll help me do this, we can get this off the ground. This, this is for the glory of God. This is for the glory of God. You pray about it, you let me know, Prophet Deb. Prophet Deb is in. We're doing this, ladies. If, if any of you men are out there listening, this is for you too. We need the men. Intercession is not just ladies' work now. Watchmen's. And the, I'm telling you, the Lord was, was stirring to me last night a, a, a teaching on watchmen, and I just, I, I, I got... I got kind of tired. I needed to take a rest and, and uh, after preaching all day and studying. But there's, there's, a, there's a, a word in my spirit about watchmen and, and beginning to, to, to thrust into that watchman uh, uh, sort of. Uh, that was what my first calling was a watchman. And there's something there on the watchman in the season to reignite and reinforce. And many watchmen have been so <laughs> just like seers and intercessors. It's the same realm. They've been just beat down, and nobody wants to hear it. I want to hear it. We thank you, Father, for this new company arising. Contact me. We're going to think of a name. We're going to band together. I'm telling you, we're going to do this in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 I have a really special announcement I want to share with you in just a moment. 
Um, but I want to give you an opportunity to sow into the ministry first. We need your help to do what God has called us to do. Uh, we can't do it without your support. And uh, we know God is the provider, and God is the known, and my people will provide. Uh, it, it's not an issue. Uh, God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. We, we lend to the, when we give to the Lord, when we, let, when we give to the poor, we lend to the Lord. And, uh, you know, when we give it to the ministry, uh, we receive much more back than we could ever, ever hope for. Hallelujah. I have a special site for Operation Liberation. I was told it was finished, but it's not, it's not showing. It's not online. Apparently it hasn't been launched. Hopefully I can share that with you tomorrow. And it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, but, I, but I have launched Operation Liberation, which is going to help to fund my trips to Nigeria, Taiwan, and Singapore and the Philippines to uh, press into equipping uh, the prophets to overcome the spirit of Jezebel. The Lord gave me a very deep revelation this morning on how to defeat the spirit of uh, Athaliah. I always pronounce that name wrong. Uh, Athaliah, Athaliah, depends on whether you're from the north or the south. And, uh, and I was going to share it today, I was going to teach it today, uh, but I need to dig a little deeper. Um, it's not one of those things that should could be, I just, I, I just, I was studying and I said, I've got to take more time. I need some more hours on this. It, it, it's simple but profound, and I'm, I'm going to share that this week, so stay tuned. I need, uh, I, I, but, I, but I want to, and we're also going to begin to sew uh, books into the jails and the prisons as part of Operation Liberation. We want to give my books. Uh, we want to see prophets, listen, listen to me. We want to see prophets raised up in the prisons, amen? We want to see intercessors raised up in the prisons. There are people that have made mistakes, and they've got fivefold gifts. There are people that have made mistakes. You know what? They're in prison. They can't do a whole lot else, but they can study the Bible, and they can pray. I want to equip them. I want to empower them. I want to see people get saved. And so, uh, you know, I've written like 30 books, and I want to start sewing those. Unfortunately, they're not free, amen? They're not free. My, I'm going to ask my publisher if they will give them to me for free um, and, and that would solve a lot of it but even still they're shipping and even still I've got self-published books that are not free because of the printers but one way or another I'm going to find I'm going to find a way to do this and I'm asking you today to sow into these things uh, to sow into the ministry if you don't want to sow into that just sow I need your help to do what God's called me to do please help me in Jesus name God will bless you he loves a cheerful giver you cannot give and not get back from God it doesn't work that way you reap what you sow if you want to give today go to Jennifer JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. You can become a partner there. The new partner resource for July will be up tomorrow. Uh, should have been up this, uh, this weekend, but we, my developer doesn't work on the weekend. So it'll be up tomorrow, the new partner resource. So if you sign up today to be a partner, you'll get this month's resource and next month's resource, praise God. So you'll get double for your trouble. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. You can become a partner there or you can sow a one-time seed there. You can do it uh, if you feel led. Amen. Hallelujah. You can use the PayPal. PayPal.me slash Operation Liberation is not just for prison. I just went all over that, uh, Patty. It's for all these trips to Nigeria, all these international trips where I had to pay my own way, and also for the prison ministry. Amen? JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. Uh, PayPal.me slash JenniferLeClaire. PayPal.me slash JenniferLeClaire. PayPal.me. You sent my book to... If anybody has a testimony of sending my books to prison, to prisons or someone in prison who was touched, email that to my office because that's going to help me. I want people to see the power of this. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. She texts to give 754-701-2161. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. P-R-A-Y. Also the P.O. Box. P.O. Box 30563. It is my birthday month. If you want to send me a, a, a birthday card, you can do that at P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Last year, I spent my birthday in Singapore. This year, I'll spend it on a plane heading to Nigeria. And, uh, you know, I won't say who, but last year, somebody ate my birthday dessert while I was trying to read the check to pay the bill. I don't know who that might have been. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I didn't even get to have my birthday dessert. It was really just a horrific, uh, and it was a, a travesty of justice, if you must know. 
Amen. Amen. Metamorphosis. Amen. Yeah, I was trying to enjoy my special little miniature desserts and somebody just ate up all my desserts. Yeah, not right at all. Horrifying. I'm still scarred by it, but the wound is not infected. It's almost healed. So I'll be, this is my birthday month. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sow into the kingdom. People say, you know what? You know, what is the best thing we could do for you for your birthday? Sow into Operation Liberation because I want to see the captive set free. Amen. Ah, shakata. Hallelujah. I'm teasing. It was actually me who ate all the dessert while, while Prophet Vanessa was paying the bill. But I didn't offer her the dessert. She refused to eat it. It was just sitting there. What am I supposed to do? Let it go to waste? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me pray over this offering. Father, I thank you for Operation Liberation. I thank you that as we sow, you'll bring greater levels of freedom into our own lives, into our own hearts, God, in Jesus' name. You'll multiply the seed back to the giver because that's what you do. It's a spiritual law. It cannot fail. And it will not fail. And we thank you, Lord, for the, for the opportunity to be part of another's liberation, to be part of another person's blessing through this media that's going into new nations. In Jesus' name, I lift up all my Awakening Blaze uh, intercessors and members, my Ignite Network members, uh, my company of, of prophets and seers, uh, my houses of prayer that are going up around the, the, the nation. I bless them in Jesus' name. I break every assignment against your lives, against your finances, against your health. In the name of Jesus, for the glory of God, we give you praise and honor and glory. Bless this offering in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I have a very, very special announcement. Um, my, my, I'm doing the mid-year prophetic update. I'm going to be doing a teaching and a lot of prayer. Uh, but I have a brand new ebook that is coming out. On, it's actually on, it's on Amazon on Kindle. I'm not doing a print book. It's on Amazon Kindle right now. It's called Momentum. And it is the 2018 mid-year prophetic update, a lot longer than what I could possibly teach uh, on, uh, on um, the 14th. I won't be able to uh, teach the whole book, uh, but it's a short read. Uh, it's there for you on Amazon. It's called Momentum. Just type in Momentum by Jennifer LeClaire, and you'll find it. Uh, it. It has a lot of prophetic direction, a lot of prophetic encouragement about where we are. And the key word is momentum. Momentum for the metamorphosis. Okay, we're in the year metamorphosis, and there's momentum. But there's so much more than that. There's prophecy. There's teaching. How do you walk this out? What does this look like for real? Uh, go to Amazon and get a copy if you want to. It is at... Uh, it's in um, it's on Amazon it's called momentum 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 so go there amen and and get your copy today help me get the word out share it on your page every book I've done has become a number one bestseller and I don't want to break the momentum hallelujah with this one uh, this isn't a proper book put out by a large publishing company uh, this is just me getting a message out quickly immediately uh, so that the, the, the body in all parts of the world can benefit. And so you can find it there on Amazon. And do please, uh, you know, good, leave a good review for it and share it. Say, you've got to get this word. Help me out. You guys are my morning friends. You want to write your own book? You want to learn how to, you know, some people have written books and they don't go anywhere. Why? Because they don't have the right publisher, because they don't understand how to market a book. They don't understand how to get the word out. Somebody emailed me and it was a great question. They said, I've already written a book. I'm about to take it to the printer. How will your class help me? Well, uh, bless God, you know, it, writing the book is really not the hardest part. Honestly, writing the book is, and I'm going to teach you in, in, in this special uh, seminar how to write the book how to come up with an idea a publisher will want. But writing the book is half the battle. Getting it out there, getting, getting, getting people to read it, marketing it, you know, getting a reputable publisher that has some clout, that's the harder part. And I've got ways uh, and strategies. And Larry Sparks from Destiny Image is going to be with me. I have an imprint uh, through Destiny Image. If, if you want to get in on this, right now the whole, class, the whole seminar is 40% off. If you can't come in person, you can watch it online. School of the Spirit TV, event, uh, the Jennifer Leclaire Eventbrite com, 
this discount's going away after uh, this week, and it's going back up to full price. Yeah, it's a premium product. I have the t two of the most well-known influencers in Christian publishing joining forces with me to provide this information to you. You can't get this anywhere else. You can't, ju you can't get this anywhere else. It's just never been done before, and I'm probably never going to do it again. Uh, once I've done it once and recorded it, there's no reason to. I might do something different, but this particular, uh, this particular uh, program is extremely unique. You know, other people want to put out these $59 courses and promise you're going to write a book in a day. Sweetheart, I'm sorry if you bought into that and wasted your money. That's not the way the world works, and you're just being scammed. So this is reputable. This is best-selling books. Uh, you can. Uh, I've every book I've written except one was a was a was a bestseller, and that one uh, well, there's a whole not another story about the demonic attack on that one. But go to schoolofthespirit.tv before this discount expires. Schoolofthespirit.tv. You can also do the uh, if you're going to come in person, you can and you prefer to you can register on Eventbrite. Uh, what else do I have for you here? Tomorrow night. Tuesday night, I'll be teaching on vindication from the assassination spirit. Whatever has tried, whatever the enemy has tried to kill, steal, and destroy in your life, whatever it looks like is dead or that's been taken away from you, I'm going to teach you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. how to pray rightly, how to respond rightly, and how to receive your vindication swiftly. And you can get involved in that, schoolthespirit.tv. That's the mentoring in prayer and intercession uh, program. Go for it. If that's going to help you in Jesus name, when you sign up for the, you can sign up just for the one, one webinar. Uh, it'll cost you more that way. If you sign up for the entire program, you get the vault, you get all the past webinars, you get everything. And so it's really the best way to go. Healing rooms training in South Florida is on Saturday. If you want to watch that online, go to ahopu.org. Hallelujah. And uh, I think those are the main announcements. Ignite, remember Ignite Prophetic Network, you get a 15% discount on all things on School of the Spirit. Uh, that won't apply to the writer's things. It's already got a 40% discount on it. But everything else is there. Ignite is a network of prophetic people contending for a pure prophetic flow. We're raising up currently a company of seers within the network. And you're going to see... Uh, in the coming days, some, some high-profile prophets are joining forces with me in the network as well and uh, to, to bless the body, amen, because they believe in Ignite and what is going on, amen. You have to be careful. There's a lot of networks out there that are like pyramid schemes. And School of the Sears is at schoolthespirit.tv. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. Their networks are like pyramid schemes. Uh, it's all about their name, their brand, and recruiting and, and building their kingdom. Ignite is not like that. Uh, Ignite is about you building the kingdom of God and equipping you to do so through your prophetic giftings and your anointings. Amen. Uh, somebody asked about the prophetic ignite now.org. Somebody asked about the prophetic retreat. Uh, I, I'm not doing admin here, sweetheart. Go to school, the spirit TV and send an email. If you want the ignite discount, you need to email the office. Okay. Please don't drag me into admin. Amen. Don't drag me into admin. Somebody else admin this for me, all right? One of you ladies out there moderating. Because you're breaking my flow, and I was going to tell you something real important. I cannot remember what it was. Oh, my goodness. What was it? Go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Lots of free stuff there for you. At 10 a.m., about 10 a.m., I'm going to be releasing the word of the Lord for uh, July. Um, I've had to change the name of, of the title of it because someone stole the word. And uh, I, pro I immediately prophesied this on J June the 1st, uh, a certain word. And the Lord is saying, now this word is being activated. So release the word with the activation. And, uh, and, and I'm going to be releasing that on Facebook Live and Periscope this morning around 10 a.m. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to title it different because someone else has stolen the word and is marketing books and doing things with it. And I don't want to promote that, uh, that kind of uh, revelation robbery. So... I'm going to, uh, to to just name it something else, uh, but it's going to bless you if you were on the broadcast on, Jan on June 1st. You heard the initial word. I have more where that came from and an activation for you, so uh, you can uh, watch for that this morning. And that is good. Is there anything else I have? I was going to tell you something else, and I got that's why I don't look at the comments. I don't blame you guys for asking questions. I just I don't want to have to be the one to answer them. 
don't want to have to be the one to answer them. What else is it? What else is it? What else is it? I think that's it. I might be on tonight to do a Q&A. If I do, it'll have to be black screen like this, like a radio, because I can't hold both these devices in my hand and read questions without my hand getting tired. If I can find a way to put these up uh, in some kind of a contraption, I'll do that. But I might come back tonight with a prayer or a Q&A. Uh, we will see. Oh, Kansas City. That's right. Uh, the, the, somebody asked about the prophetic retreat. Yes, that's still open. Um, we have, we have, we're about to sign a contract for the meeting space. Um, I believe we'll do that today. Uh, so then we'll be able to give you information on, on that in the block of rooms. They're only holding 20 to start. Uh, so we're going to send out an email to those of you who have registered and ask you if you're going to want a room and we will go back to the hotel. It's a holiday in there in Grandview. And then at that point we will, we will up the blockage of rooms because they don't want to block people who aren't coming. So then you can go make your reservations with a special code. Okay. So we'll send that email out either today or tomorrow. Technically today's my day off. Uh, so if you don't get it today, don't freak out and, and, and say, I didn't get it. It's because it wasn't sent. I'll either send it today or tomorrow. I will do this myself. And, uh, the prophetic retreat, prophetic intercession retreat. Somebody's saying, what is that? Prophetic intercession retreat. I'm going to be uh, fellowshipping with you, imparting to you, praying for you, uh, pressing in with you, doing warfare over you, equipping you, teaching you, and again, fellowshipping with you in, in uh, Kansas City. We're going to be soaking in the prayer room together, uh, eating together, uh, worshiping together, praying together. And so, uh, uh, and really, I thought we would go to the Friday night service at. Um, at that Forerunner Christian Fellowship on that Friday night, but I think I'd rather do my own service for you. Um, and so I'm going to be uh, probably shifting that part of it. If anybody is there and you want to go to the to the Mike Bickle service, you can, and I love that. But I thought you're there with me. Why not Why not pour as much of you into you as I can? Uh, so I'm probably just going to switch that and just, and just pour into you that way. That way you'll get more and more and more and more instead of just watching somebody else preach. Uh, I, I mean, I, it's, he's awesome, but I think you're, you're there to see me. So let's do that. Um, so that, that'll be a small change to the schedule. And it'll also give us more flexibility to be able to have dinner together and not have to worry about getting to some service on time. If we start our service at eight o'clock, Hey, what does it matter? Right? Right. Consider a treat in Charlotte. Well, we might do that. Email the office. If you've got a facility that you're willing to allow us to use, um, so if you want to register for the uh, retreat, there's only a few spots left. You need to go to uh, event, uh, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Amen? Amen. Praise God. All right, you guys. Love you. I'll be back at around 10 a.m. I say around 10 because if I have any issues with my Mevo, um, it might be 10.05 or 10.15. Sometimes technology doesn't like to work. Uh, but get in on this retreat if you want to, please, before there's not enough space. And look for those updates and uh, look for a, maybe a possibly a, a, a prayer call tonight or a Q&A. Love you guys. I'll be back with you soon.